welcome to my channel my name is Mallory and this video is another Costco haul video I know you guys really like these videos they're super fun to watch to see what other people buy so if you're not subscribed make sure to hit the red subscribe button down below I would love to have you as part of my YouTube tribe So let's do the refrigerated and freezer items first so I can put them away. I got some more of our staple silk organic almond milk. It's made with organic almonds. I love that they carry the organic kind. This is great for smoothies, cooking, um, pretty much anything. I put it in my coffee. I heat it up and add it to my coffee. So and it's also unsweetened so you don't have to worry about sugar content. This is another staple in our household, especially for my husband because he is like low carb slash keto. And so cauliflower rice is a major staple for him. They used to carry the plain cauliflower rice, but I haven't seen that for a little while, but they are carrying this stir fry cauliflower rice, which I personally like better because it's already seasoned. It has some peas and peppers and corn in there and it comes in four pouches and it is really yummy it is it's great you won't even miss rice with this i also got some fresh organic broccoli florets love it when broccoli comes already cut up cutting up broccoli is not my favorite activity this is three pounds of broccoli and i'm gonna be using this for a recipe can't remember what but that is a really good time saver I also got some organic cucumbers. Um, cucumbers are really important to buy organic. And what I've been doing with cucumbers lately is I have been making refrigerator pickles or yeah, pickled cucumber pickles. I don't know. Anyway, you're basically making pickling your own cucumbers in the refrigerator. So that's a really delicious way to eat cucumbers. You can probably just Google a recipe. I'm going to be making a soup this week, later this week, and so I got some of this bone broth. I really love this. All the ingredients are is filtered water, organic chicken, and organic carrots. You can add salt to taste. There are no onions in here or garlic, so you can just add your own seasonings, flavorings if you want. Um, and it is gelatinized, and that's what you want. That means there's a lot of collagen in this broth. So it's gonna be really nourishing for your gut, your skin, hair, and nails. It is, I would say, a superfood. And then the final refrigerated item that I got, and this is the first time to get it, are these Polish sausages or kielbasa. It doesn't say kielbasa on here, but um, they're cooked, uncured Polish sausage from 100% grass-fed beef and i saw these last time and i was kind of curious about them and i decided to try them because i'm starting to run low on my breakfast sausage from the commissary and i thought i'll just give these a try so i will let you guys know how they are all right let's move on to the dry goods non-refrigerated love these crackers another i haven't gotten these for a few weeks actually they are the simple meals almond crackers and they are grain free so they are paleo uh, if you're trying to avoid grains or cut down on grains they are really delicious actually my husband already opened them <laughs> uh, we both love these and they have like onion garlic and rosemary flavorings in them they're kind of like a wheat thin i think i said that in my last video on costco they're delicious. Even if you're not paleo, I highly recommend them. Another packaged good that I got, you know, like this cannot replace good whole fruits and veggies, but it's sometimes nice to just have something salty to snack on or to go with your lunch or something. I don't know if they usually carry these or maybe I just don't I really haven't paid attention much to like the chip section, but I love Terra chips. These, this is the classic version and it's a, an assortment of different root vegetables. So it's not just potatoes. Actually, there are actual no, no potatoes in here. It's parsnip, taro root, sweet potato, and batata. I think that's a type of sweet potato. I'm not sure. It kind of looks like it, but 
if you have not tried Terra chips before, they are really yummy and it's a good, it's a fun way to mix it up from like your standard potato chip. Another staple for my husband, he really likes these protein bars, the Kirkland brand. You get 20 for $17.99, so it's less than a dollar per bar. It's, let's see, 21 grams of protein per bar and only three to four grams net of carbs. So that's really good, again, if you're following low carb or keto, these can fit the bill for that. Here's something a lot more healthy that's not a packaged item. Two pounds of tomatoes, and specifically it's called the Symphony Tomato Ensemble. I like that as a musician, that's funny. This was the only organic tomato option that I noticed, and tomatoes are also important to buy organic. So, there's that. This is another, this is another treat that I got myself. I guess I got myself two treats, the chips and these, the almond nuggets in dark chocolate. These are so yummy. Actually, I've never gotten this one before. I got one that I think it was a different nut. I forget, I think it was on a, a coconut nuggets. So it's basically the same thing except with coconuts instead of almonds, but this has almonds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and chia seeds. And yeah, it just makes a really yummy snack. And you're getting a little bit of good fat and protein from the nuts and seeds. Another no carb snack for my husband. Well, there's a few carbs, but basically very, very low carb. Beef jerky. I prefer the Kirkland brand because it's not as expensive, but I haven't seen the beef jerky lately. Also another thing for Mark, another actually no carbs. There are zero carbs in pork rinds. So these are the best pork rinds that both of us have had. So, and it's only like $6.29 per bag. So that's a really good deal because they tend to be a little pricey. And then the final food item is my grain-free granola, Autumn's Gold brand. It is on the pricey side because it's grain-free, but um, right now, this is the only gluten-free granola that they're carrying. I wish they'd bring back Purely Elizabeth grain-free grain granola, but they haven't had it for like a couple months now. So, but I, I like the taste of this, it's fine. It's just a little pricey, but I'm the only one who eats it and I don't eat that much, so it doesn't go, go really fast. And then the final item that I got is a box of Kirkland diapers. So this is 174 diapers and it was, I believe, $29.99. So we're gonna try them and because we are loving the Kirkland baby wipes, which I got last week. And those wipes, you guys, are so nice. They're large and they're thick. They don't break apart. They're not too wet, but they're not too dry. And the flip top, it snaps closed. I really like them. So I really hope that I like the diapers as much as I like the wipes. So I will report back to you guys on that in another video, but basically Costco has a really great return policy. Like let's say we start using the diapers and Max gets a rash from the diapers. Even though we've started using it, you can take it back to Costco. So. Max is over there playing independently. So I am going to sign off. If you guys have any questions on anything that I bought, just let me know. I would love to answer your questions and it's really fun to bring these hauls to you guys and just kind of share what I buy. And it also gives me an excuse to, to try new things so that I can report back to you guys what I liked. So maybe in the next Costco haul video, I will report back to you what I thought of the almond nuggets and the diapers. Oh, and the kielbasa, the Polish sausage. All right, you guys, again, make sure to hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate your support and subscription. And in the meantime, take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.